Hey, what is up everybody? It is Michael and today I'm here with some giveaway responses for a couple of uh, awesome YouTubers. Uh, the first one's going to be for Pac-Man. He just hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a humongous milestone, uh, especially, you know, kind of in the card community. You don't see a ton of people hitting, you know, 1,000 subs or over that. So huge congrats to him. Um, he's got some questions for us to answer. And the first one is, um, in our opinion, who are the top five players in the NFL or NBA? I'm going to go NFL because I really do not know the NBA well enough to put down what I feel like would be a reasonable answer. So my top five for the NFL, I'm going to go number five, Rob Gronkowski. Number four, Luke Keekley. Number three, Antonio Brown. Number two, Von Miller. And number one, Tom Brady. And I'm kind of doing my... You know, these are just my own thoughts, my own ranking. I'm kind of just doing this by looking at, you know, dominance at their position, how long they've been great for, and yeah, those are kind of my like my mood, my two main criteria. Like, how good are they compared to the rest of the people who play their position? You know, how much of an impact on the game do they have, and how long have they been doing it for? Rob Gronkowski, when he's healthy, I mean, he's unstoppable. He is by far the most dominant tight end we've seen in a long time. Uh, you just can't stop the guy when he's healthy. So I put him at number five. I mean, Luke Keekley is such a game changer for my Panthers. And this one may be a little bit biased because I am a Panthers fan. But in my opinion, he's the best middle linebacker in the game. And when you know he's not injured and he's playing well, that defense is playing well. But when, he, when he's gone, you can definitely see how it affects the defense. Antonio Brown, uh, you know, just been doing it in the, at the wide receiver position for a couple years now. Um, I think he leads lead receptions like every year. You really just, you can't cover him. Von Miller, um, probably the most dominant pass rusher we've seen in a long time. I mean, he just takes over games, and this could be a little biased too because I just saw him destroy my Panthers two years ago in the Super Bowl. But Von Miller literally got the Broncos to where they were. Like in that game against the Patriots, like, I remember watching that game and just seeing Tom Brady had no chance. Like him and DeMarcus Ware were just all over him. Um, and Von Miller's been doing it for years, so definitely one of the most dominant uh, linebackers you've seen in a while. And then, you know, this kind of pains me to say it. I'm not a Tom Brady fan, but this guy is the GOAT. I think that comeback in the Super Bowl really just solidified it. That, you know, he's been doing it forever, and I'd say he's by far the best player in his position. Um, so there we go. Those are my top five players in the NFL, in my opinion. Um, next question was, our favorite product from 2016? And mine would have to be uh, Optic uh, Optic Football. I mean, it was just a blaster. Um, that was definitely the product I had the most fun opening, just getting all the rookies. I, the cards look really clean, really nice. I've always loved Chrome. Um, so that's definitely my favorite product of 2016 and um, that's the product I'm looking forward to to 2017. 2017 Optic, I'm definitely going to be busting a lot of it. Um, that'll be really fun. Um, third, if you could have any card ever for your collection, what would it be? And this is a little bit hard because I don't have like a like a certain card that I'm like, oh, I, I must... I must have this card, but it'd definitely be some kind of Adrian Peterson card, and I was just browsing around on eBay today, and I saw this. I've always loved, like, inscription autos, like autos where, you know, they inscribe something else. So this card right here, uh, it's from 2010 Five Star, just a beautiful-looking card of Adrian Peterson that he described with all day. Um, that would be an amazing card to have, so I'm just going to go with that, but, you know, also something like an Adrian Peterson, like, rookie, rookie um, auto, rookie jersey auto. Uh, would be really awesome too. So next question, who is our favorite player in sports and why? And I kind of just answered it, but Adrian Peterson. And why? I really started following football in 2012. I'd followed it a little bit, but not much before 2012. And then I had a friend invite me to a fantasy football league that year, so I was like, sure, why not? Um, and I drafted Adrian Peterson because I'd, I'd heard his name. I knew it was good. I hadn't really heard about his injury. Um, so I drafted him, you know, read a little bit about him, saw that he was kind of, you know, he'd been injured. Just he's coming off this really bad injury, um, and he just he started doing well. And so I started watching. Like I, I was like I liked the Panthers at the time because they were my home team, but I also wanted to watch the players who were my fantasy team. So I just started watching Adrian Peterson, and that was the season that he had, you know, 
He got like nine yards away from a single season all-time rushing record. Uh, just an absolutely insane season, man. Just seeing the way this guy played and the way he come back from that injury definitely made him my favorite player, you know, of all time. I think he's got a really good attitude, you know. He certainly made some mistakes, you know, the whole thing where, you know, uh, beat his kid a little bit back in 2013. You know, that's certainly, you know, not cool to see, but everyone makes mistakes, you know. I do think he was sorry for it. He seems like a good guy. Um, definitely my favorite player in all of sports. So Adrian Peterson. And uh, finally, what do we think is the best value? Hobby boxes, retail packs or boxes, um, loose hobby packs, or the subscription boxes? And in my opinion, um, it's the subscription boxes and then certain hobby boxes. Um, stuff like high end is obviously super boomer bust, but there's some hobby boxes out there. I don't know, I think of things like Donruss, things like Valor, where you just get get a lot of value for uh, the money you spend. And then I think the subscription boxes are a very good value too. I've, de I've been meaning to like get a card crate forever and I literally forget every month until the um, the ordering period is over. So yeah, that's in my opinion the, um, the best value there. I definitely don't think it's... Um, it's just loose hobby packs. My hobby shop is, you know, fairly expensive, but um, you know, so so that's my opinion. The best value. So there we go. The five questions for Pac Man. Uh, huge congrats to you, man. Uh, definitely, definitely deserving. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna move on now to J M V P's uh, hundred subscriber giveaway. So congrats to you, J. I've had an awesome time uh, talking to you and stuff on the tube, getting to know you a little better. So that's awesome. Um, so first up, is there a story behind the name of our um, of our YouTube channel? And there's really not a big story for me. It, I when I created my YouTube channel, I just had my name be Michael Detloff because that is my name, and that's just that's just what I went with. Um, so not a huge story there. Um, our second one will be who is our sports crush, and. Um, this was, I don't know, a little hard for me. Um, as a competitive swimmer, though, um, and watching the uh, the Olympics last year, uh, this young lady caught my eye a little bit. My phone's kind of not showing showing up. Uh, this is Elizabeth Beisel, uh, one of the uh, the um, athletes on the uh, U.S. Olympic team last year. Um, so yeah, if if I did choose a sports crush, that that would probably be it. Um, and last one, uh, his son Ryder. What was his first number, uh, the first season he ever played uh, t-ball? And man, I'm just gonna go with. I really have no idea, so I'm just gonna go with uh, number six, and that's really just kind of a guess. So uh, once again, congrats to you, uh, JMVP, 100 subscribers, awesome milestone to hit. Uh, you definitely deserve it, and hopefully you keep on climbing. Um, so last, last. Uh, um, last contest entries for card collector Lakers he also hit 100 subscribers which is awesome um, so a couple questions for us first what would you do if you had one day to live and honestly for me I wouldn't go do anything crazy I wouldn't you know I don't know I wouldn't go do anything crazy I'd honestly just spend it with my family I want to spend it with my family I want to spend it with my friends just the people I really care about in life because uh, that's honestly what brings me the most joy in life just people my friends my family just you know spending time and you know having fun with just the people I care most about in life so if I had one day to live that's definitely what I'd want to do uh, number two is our best poll and man I feel like I've showed this card in like every response video but I guess it just kind of relate like everyone asks for like your best poll or something like that but this Odell Beckham Jr. Um, rookie auto uh, number to 10 and I do have it in a mag now which is cool and I'm going to try to get it graded this summer uh, that was such an insane poll. I, I, I literally went berserk. I couldn't touch it for like 10 minutes, but awesome, awesome poll of an awesome, awesome player. Um, but I might try to sell it this summer, depending on what kind of grade it gets, if I get it graded. Um, since I don't PC Odell, and I could buy some sick Adrian Peterson cards with that kind of money. So that's that's definitely my best poll of all time. And finally, what sports or uh, instruments do you play? So as far as sports go, I'm a competitive swimmer. I have been for about, I started swimming when I was nine, 
I really started to get competitive with it when I was maybe like 12 or 13 and I'm 16 now so about four years but I'm swimming for longer than that um, and then instruments um, I'm a drummer uh, just like you man um, I, I have seen a couple of drum videos you put up and uh, you're pretty good uh, which is awesome you definitely play a different style than I do I play a lot more of the uh, the rock um, contemporary type stuff um, I do play for my youth group so I play a lot of like contemporary Christian like worship type stuff uh, you were pulling out some cool like jazz stuff some um, doing like a lot of stuff on the toms in the last video you put up so definitely different styles but uh, I'm doing some super cool stuff over there I did enjoy those videos so yeah, um, congratulations Card Collector Lakers, 100 subscribers, uh, that's an awesome milestone. So yeah guys, uh, we just hit 10 minutes on that video, a uh, long response, but um, I don't know. Gotta enter those contests, gotta uh, support the guys hitting the milestones, and always want to enter the giveaways, right? Always gotta give yourself a chance. So anyway guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, congratulations to all three of these guys for hitting their subscriber milestones, and I'll see you guys later.